New information from the News 4 Jack's I team in the cases of two suspended Jacksonville City Council members facing federal fraud charges. We've learned that the attorney for Reggie Brown wants him to have a separate trial from Katrina Brown. Federal prosecutors charged the two in a 38 count indictment, but the Browns are not related. They are accused of conspiring to steal hundreds of thousands of dollars from a loan for Katrina Brown's family's barbecue sauce plant, keeping that money for their personal accounts. Both have pleaded not guilty. News for Jack's I team investigator Vic Michelucci talked with an attorney about what this could mean. Attorneys in the case of Reggie Brown and Katrina Brown have a deadline of tomorrow to file any last minute requests for the judge here in federal court. The lawyer for Reggie Brown submitted two yesterday asking for a fair trial for his clients. The first is a request to have the two cases tried separately. Reggie Brown's attorney thinks that Katrina Brown's case could influence the case against his client, and he doesn't want that. To back up his argument, he claims that there is no direct evidence that Reggie Brown, quote, had any knowledge of any misrepresentations Katrina Brown may or may not have made to lenders, and that he, quote, never willfully agreed to commit a crime. The second is a motion to remove a paragraph from the indictment by federal prosecutors. It's a statement that outlines how Reggie on city council in 2011 voted in favor of a loan to KJB Specialties, Katrina Brown's family's barbecue sauce plant business. His lawyer argues that Reggie regularly voted in favor of economic development projects in northwest Jacksonville. The lawyer also says that the paragraph implies that Reggie was working with Katrina and her family as far back as 2011, when the conspiracy is alleged to have started in 2013. We spoke with local attorney Randy Reap, who is not involved in the case, about how these motions could affect the outcome. As to the motion to sever, that's not uncommon when you think that you're the less culpable defendant. You will not want to go to trial with the other defendant because you want to avoid getting their paint on you. Do you think that these requests hold any water? Uh, I think the severance is unlikely to happen unless there's some other reason to do that. And as it relates to the, the nomenclature, I think that Mr. Brown's defense attorney will in fact receive a more narrow scope of what he has to defend against. Again, the attorneys have until tomorrow to file any motions in the case. After that, the federal judge will likely call a hearing to consider those requests. As of now, the trial for both of them is set for February. Downtown at the Federal Courthouse, I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. And late this afternoon, Reggie Brown's attorney filed a third motion. This one asked the judge to dismiss the charges of wire fraud and money laundering. Brown's attorney argues that they involve the same offenses for which he is already charged with mail fraud, saying that that's a violation of federal case law.